Have you ever wondered what it's like to visit one of the best places in the world? We're in the province of Boracay, Philippines, regarded as one of the best beaches in the Philippines. I'm exhausted. We have been up since four in the morning traveling, but we're so excited. Oh, Kambing! Oh. We are in a province, in a van, on our way to our next destination. Can't wait to see it. Wow, good morning. Thank you. This is the private exclusive lounge. I got a cookie. <laughs> Crimson Hotel guessed it. We are in Boracay. And we are here for a very, very special event. Um, it is Diana's birthday, and she actually has no idea that we are here. So we are here to surprise her. Um, their flight will arrive later on this afternoon. So we are just getting started a little bit early, waiting for our boat. Look at this view. I love coming to the islands. It's fabulous. Second mode of transportation travel tip when coming to Boracay. The airport is in a separate area than the actual island itself, so you often will have to take um, some mode of transportation that will take you to a dock, get on a boat, and then from there that'll take you to another, I guess like welcome center area where you're going to grab another car or mode of transportation to take you to your hotel. So that's what we're about to do next. Oh yay, we're here. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Sorry about my bedhead, guys. I've been wearing my hat for like five hours now. We just got complimentary drinks, which is like pandan, something else, and calamansi, and it is so good. You get the sweetness and the flavor of the pandan leaf, and then you get hit with the refreshing flavor of the calamansi, and it's kind of sour too. If I were to rate it, it would probably be A or B to you. So Miss Rochelle told us at check-in they have three on-site restaurants here. They've also got infinity pools, um, a kiddie pool, they've got kids programs, kids things to do. Can't wait to get, get down to that beachfront. I don't think I can say it enough times. I absolutely love the beach. I love Boracay. This place is amazing. Wow, this is a cool pirate ship. I think Phoenix is gonna love this. Like I can't get far enough back to get the full scale of this tree. I love this place. This is so cool. Just the way everything's stacked and tiered in that beautiful Boracay Beach. I am so hot and sweaty already. I am ready to go get in my swimsuit and go dip. I cannot wait to see the look on Diana's face when she gets here and she realizes we're here and we're going to spend the whole weekend, week, having fun, enjoying, celebrating her birthday, celebrating her. This is the perfect place to have fun with friends. The big reveal is about to happen. Miss, oh, Miss Nico is going to show us to our room. Welcome to your room. Hi. Oh my gosh, Rowan's screaming. <laughs> this is your favorite hotel? Mm -hmm. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm blown away. Okay, Thank you so it. much, Miss Nico. I appreciate you. you. Enjoy your stay. Yes. And have your first uh, set of mini board on us. Ooh. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't eaten anything all day. We're breaking our fast here at Saffron Cafe, where they serve a mix of international and local cuisines. My delicious salad, yeah. it's amazing. The chicken's cooked perfectly and it's got all this rosemary bits on it. It's grilled, I love some grilled chicken. It's hard to get around here. Rowan's eating his usual, chicken fingers and fries. I love that you still eat a ham and cheese sandwich, even though you have such a refined palate. Sometimes you just crave regular old kid food, huh? You already finished your chicken fingers. It was only three. No, you were hangry, man. So Jack just messaged us to let us know that they were at the port. I'm super excited. We'll see if we can pull off this surprise. I was on Instagram and I noticed that um, Brian posted a story on Kaysen's page showing that we were here in Boracay, and it was about three hours ago, so I scrolled through praying that Diana hadn't seen it yet, and then I found a way to block her from seeing it, so. And unexpectedly. What? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so confused! Good job, Jack. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Alright guys, we got creme brulee, and this is my first time trying it, so I think you tap your spoon into it, and if it cracks, it's good. Oh! <laughs> 
my. This is really good. It's almost like a caramel fruity leshy flan. It has a super sugary top, which was melted with a blowtorch, I think. And it is just so good when you pair it with the vanilla ice cream. I love this. The sun finally came out. It's been off and on sort of rainy all afternoon. And so it's really nice to be able to come out here and sit at the beach and to have them bring us water while we're sitting out here at the beach. Very often when we are in restaurants, especially in Manila, we actually have to ask to have water brought over to us. It's not something that just normally happens. Even for a refill, we have to ask for it. So I think this is the quality and level of service that you get when you come and stay at a five-star resort like Crimson. They're just on top of things. There's something I didn't know about coming to Boracay is there are different stations that you can actually travel to. And there is something known as Station Zero, which is where we are. And at Station Zero is um, Crimson Hotel, which is here. And right behind me over on this side is Movenpick. And then just on the other side of that is Shangri-La. Those are the only three spots here at Station Zero. So this one here is one of three pools that they have. So there's this pool here, and then right up there is one infinity pool. Over here is another, and then straight in there is an actual kiddie pool right next to the Azure Beach Club, which I believe we are coming here for dinner tonight. I feel like we've been cooped up for the last three months, really sort of because of the weather and I think we've kind of been afraid to go out. Being here right now, getting on that plane, even waking up at 4 a.m. this morning, I feel re-energized just being able to be out here and be on the beach, being in Boracay. We were meant to travel. We need to be able to get out and travel more. Kaysen's doing his favorite thing he loves to do. Bury Roro in the sand. I'm gonna put the camera down for a bit, relax, enjoy some time with the kids, and I'll see you later. I know I said I was taking a nap and having a cocktail, but I ended up playing around and having fun. And then we have one of these epic Barakai sunsets. They are crazy. We're here at Azure tonight, and we are, look at this menu, it's quite massive. I can't decide what to eat, so I think we're gonna order a whole lot of a bunch of different things. What'd you get, baby? Chicken popcorn. And what's the verdict? Aside from their extensive seafood options, seafood samosa. It looks really good. Massively deep fried. I keep saying massive. Do you realize that? Mm. That's really good. It's like spicy, lemony, and salty, and crunchy. Azure also boasts an array of Indian food, such as the chicken tikka masala. She said it is spot on, one of the like best curries she's had here in the Philippines. In your life? Ooh. And a lamb dish known as Rogan Josh, which is a lamb curry? I don't know, it makes me think of Joe Rogan. Rogan Josh. It is one of the signature recipes of the Kashmiri cuisine. It's not like eating a piece of beef, but it's very similar to a piece of beef. There's just a lamminess. And for our vegan friends, they've also got you covered. Dan Dan noodles, I think these are a vegan version as well. Minced pork meat fits perfectly in. It's just the right amount of spice. Need some bok choy. That's girthy. Obviously, Filipino tradition to have noodles. Long life birthday and week. birthday week. Yeah, gotta celebrate. This special dinner, of course, is to celebrate the birthday of our very good friend. Obviously, singing and cheering is a must. That lasted for the entire duration of our stay. Double wishes! Happy birthday, friend! So spoiled. You are so spoiled. spoiled! You deserve to be spoiled! Thank you so much for working. How big is that thing? Look at my hand. My hand's like this. I think Kaysen wants one. He's like a stalker behind me with his plate. Oh, I love me some grilled prawns. It's like a baby lobster. It makes me so happy. I like big, massive prawns. Sir Joven, the duty manager, came over to introduce himself to us. We're complimenting him on not just the staff, but the quality of the food here is top notch. It's absolutely unbelievable. Tentacle. Now you're super tender. Thank you. 
have a good night. Thank you, Jovan. Thank you, North. Thank you. Okay, so we are in here at the Saffron Cafe breakfast buffet. Breakfast comes with our stay. So they've got a full buffet every morning. I think it starts at 7 a.m. Um, and goes until about 11-ish. So we are going to feast right now. So this is what Kuya did. He did a make your own noodles. And he's got all this selection. Similar to the other restaurants on site at Crimson, you can find a variety of international dishes here, but also some classic Filipino favorites, such as lechon, tapa, and longanisa. Lechon paksu? I think you should try that. I've never tried this before. I would say it's very similar to like an adobo, like the sauce, it has that sweetness, but it doesn't have as much of that vinegary component to it. And some sort of like gravy-like sauce. It's super tender, really nice and soft and juicy. And that sauce reminds me of like a katsu sauce. It's a bit sweet, a bit thick, but really good. There were also a number of Filipino pastries and some with a twist. Mr. Raul brought us some warmed up ensamada. I'm always iffy about cheese on my pastries. Wow, that is so good. I'm always afraid to eat it. I don't know why, because it's so good. I always forget how good it is. And Rowan enjoyed some chicken tacos for breakfast. Hi, boys. Part of the beauty of this room that we have here, right over there, is right outside there's like a way that we can walk out and we have access to this infinity pool right here. It's in the Indigo Tower. And then right down over here is just the main infinity pool and obviously the beach area. It's so cool. I mean, we have this beautiful sea view that we get to wake up to every morning. And earlier, it even rained a bit, but the kids stayed in the pool because they were fine. It was, it was wonderful. We're leaving the resort for a bit and exploring the bustling area of the other stations on the island. It's always a scenic drive into town, and I thoroughly enjoy seeing these quaint province neighborhoods that I just don't get to see in the concrete jungle of BGC. All right, so we are walking through Dumal Palenque. Wow. Manok, I might need that. Vegan ube ice cream, for me, that sounds amazing. Oh, it's like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's Whoa. humongous. I'm so excited. Vegan ice cream. Mm. I love ube. It's so good. I'm going to eat it all. How is it, Robo? Mmm. So good. I would say, aside from walking down the beachfront, walking through the Dimal area is probably like one of the other things that you absolutely have to do when you're coming to Barakai. Hello, sir. It's amazing. We just got some really good ice cream. We're spoiling our dinner, but we're on vacation, so that's what you do. I love these cupies shells. Ooh. Could you imagine, like, Staying at a hotel like this, right in the middle of everything. Maybe in my early 20s, I would have stayed at a place like that, but not with kids. Chocolateria. There's actually a new era cap store, body shop, a grind. What, you need mommy to finish it? It's a little overwhelming. I think it's a little bit of a sensory overload because there's so much going on. There's music coming from all corners. There's lights. There's people shouting at you to come and get seafood. <laughs> like. It's fun, but it's very busy. Look at the boutique. Hey, Brian just said, what a stark contrast from our beachfront is this one out here. It is so busy, it's so packed. It's so cool, right? Stroller might He's not work. He's stuck in the sand. This is all part of his master plan though. He wants to come down here so you don't stop at the shops. Yeah, I think for us, like with, especially with Kaysen, he has this, um, almost a social anxiety that we have to work through sometimes so it's nicer to be out at a place that's not so busy and then we can kind of come out to places like this sort of as we feel like it so it's nice it works out for everybody watch us of course at coast here uh, station two it's terrible but station two. But look station at that two. i can't see it i know i can see it they, <laughs> they can see it so we're all sitting out here having some drinks and i just had to share this story of how we took um, Jack and Diana to 
friends and family, which is owned by the same group, Rain Tree Restaurant Group. They were telling us that they love friends and family so much that they took their friend Mark, who's from the UK, and he ended up going to friends and family by himself in BGC like two more times and you know the the staff remembered him. So these folks here, they just they know what they're doing. So definitely come out to Cha Cha's. Kuya ordered something massive and we're gonna see it in just a bit. What do you love the most about Baraka? Um uh, everything in general. You love to take your shoes off and feel the sand on your feet, huh? Luca in a show. Easily one of the best drinks in the world. Cha Cha's is a beachfront restaurant that offers a variety of carefully curated dishes that will delight foodies from any corner of the world. I told Diana she's gonna absolutely love this naan bread. The naan bread's so good, it's so crispy. So many dips I can dip in. I'm like, I think there's like a the baba ganoush and a sour cream and a salsa. I'm like, oh my gosh. They also offer an amazing Indian section that has us buzzing with delight. Mm, I'm so good. I don't know what it is, but I'm really digging these Indian flavors. I am eating taco, carne asada to be specific. The best taco I've had, wittingly. It's just so good. I don't know how to explain it. It's too good. So one of our waiters, I was trying to get the meat out of the coconut, which is usually really hard, but he asked if he could take it, and I, and I didn't know what he meant, so I just gave it to him, and he cracked the thing in half, and now it's super easy for me to get the meat. Then now done, easily. And for Kuya's massive feast, Cha Cha's cold seafood platter. I think these are mud swimmer crabs or what they're called. I want to make sure to get every little hidden pocket of meat. You can't waste it. It's a super tender, really nice, soft, and really juicy. Has such a perfect flavor to it. Kason's the sweetest. He loves animals. Him and Rowan both, so. What do you want to call her? <gasps> She's Cha-Cha. We met her at Cha-Cha's. He asked Sir Darwin to help put a little bowl together to give to the cat. So our dinner at Cha-Cha's was Absolutely incredible. We met a beautiful couple. Happy honeymoon to Emily and Dan. Congratulations! Congratulations! Rowan. Yeah. Are we walking down a crusty old alley? All right, this place seems new. It looks super done up. It might be a little dark, but you're okay. Some of the alleyways we walked down in Baraka it was like, ooh, 80% of them feel pretty safe. Are you tired yet? Are you ready to go to bed? You want to hop in the little fort that we have built for you in the room. Oh, look! Elevator photo! But it's not a photo, it's a video. Oh, it's a video. Okay. Phoenix, do you know that song? I like to see it jiggle jiggle. No? After a full day at the beach, we're hitting a Tatler Dining awarded restaurant, Mosaic. This Latin American restaurant features some of the best cuisines we've had from their citrusy ceviche a la Sinaloa, the popular char-grilled el pulpo. I need this guy right here. Yeah. Octopus chicharron. Oh, He's so good. Wow. The barramundi that was just swimming earlier today in the sea. And it's perfectly filleted. It's a white fish, but it's like super soft, flaky, but not like, I guess not like salmon flaky. It just kind of falls apart in your mouth, beautifully seasoned with, and cooked in that charcoal oven. That's amazing. And the mouth-watering bone-in tomahawk steak. Point at the menu blindfolded, and you're sure to get something that you would really enjoy. Standing in for Kuya's review is Rowan. That, that tastes like salt and pepe mixed together. Moving on, I don't know what this is called, but it's, it's sort of like more lucky than I expected. That's a strong salt. Okay, final one. Okay. That is very salty. He absolutely loves all salty things and was really excited to see all of the specialty salts from around the world, and even a very rare sea salt from the province of Bohol, Asin Tinubuak, AKA the dinosaur egg. Happy birthday to you. Kuya, did you orchestrate this? Oh, we should. <laughs> 
Jason said he had to go to the CR earlier, and he told Ate Jovi that it was Diana's birthday instead. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Miss Jovi. The journey to Crimson Resort, where luxury meets the untamed beauty of the Philippines, combined with some of the most amazing staff we've encountered, left us wanting to stay even longer. The sun-kissed beaches became the canvas for our shared moments, each wave echoing laughter and connection. The shimmering sands witnessed our shared joy and the vibrant sunsets painted a backdrop for this unforgettable surprise visit, leaving us with memories as rich as the island's culture. The lens is super foggy, but Kuya and I have never seen a snail this big in our life. My hand for reference. Hello. Chocolate s'more cookie. Dad. Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I supposed to? Oh, wow. Diana have the same bite on the same hand. I just want to show you guys this. Try Gigantic snail. What are you having today for breakfast? Food. Let's talk about the snail. <laughs> My taco. That's good. That's all I'm gonna see. <laughs> me and Kason both got stung by a jellyfish. It's painful. Not for me it isn't. Mostly. You, gotta, you, you were screaming ow in the ocean and you were saying it felt like a mosquito bite but 20 times. Roro, lift your arm up. Let's see. We got another little jellyfish thing. Twice in one day. That's okay. High five. Hey, not with the GoPro. 